He was born in Russia in 1834. Hard work as a youth opened up the college doors. He always tried to be the best that he could be and chose to make his mark in chemistry. And who told the elements where to go? Mendeleev, who put them in columns and in rows. Mendeleev, who was ready, who was able to make a periodic table. Who was that chemist? Mendeleev. He wondered if nature really had a master plan, if the elements had a pattern that one could understand. So he bought a bunch of cards, and on each one wrote the name of an element and its weight. And then he played the game. He put them all in order by their atomic weights. He used their chemical properties to differentiate. Crooks began to form, and despite some question marks, he managed to produce a simple periodic chart. Who told the elements where to go? Mendeleev, who put them in columns and in rows. Mendeleev, who was ready, who was able to make a periodic table. Who was that chemist? Mendeleev. At first in 1869, the chart was not a hit. But that young Russian chemist was not the kind to quit. He revised atomic weights and staked his whole career, predicting that several new elements would appear. Oh, a few years passed, and sure enough they came. Gallium, scandium, germanium were their names. Chemists everywhere were impressed with what they saw. There really must be something to this periodic law. And who told the elements where to go? Mendeleev, who put them in columns and in rows. Mendeleev, who was ready, who was able to make a periodic table. Who was that chemist? Mendeleev. So they call him the father of the periodic table. And his work gave rise to another kind of label. It's the name for element number 101. In honor of this man, they call it Mendelevium. And who told the elements where to go? Mendeleev, who put them in columns and in rows. Mendeleev, who was ready, who was able to make a periodic table. Who was that chemist? Mendeleev.